Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, hey, what's up? My name is Maribel, and I'm a personal trainer. And for today's workout, I'm taking you over. We're already here. We're heading to the gym for a 30-minute glute workout. We're gonna work in, we're gonna be working on your booty, on your inner thighs. So let's get right into this video. I'll be putting the movement and the rep and set on the screen. So let's go. Got the Jenny, I'ma make a move. Breaking records and I'm breaking news. Just be pressed like who you. I get whatever I like. This won't bark, but they wanna bite. I got some money for using a mic, bitch. Think about that when you type. So we're starting off with a warm-up routine. Before a workout, it's so important to prepare your body for an intensive exercise. A typically warm-up can last around 5 to 10 minutes and should include cardio or dynamic stretches just to target the muscles that you'll be using during your workout. We are doing good mornings and I want you to do 3 to 5 sets, 12 repetition, and you should not rest between your warm-up at all. Good mornings is one of my favorite exercises. I tend to do them almost every single day. The good morning exercise works muscle groups along the backside of your body, including your hamstrings, spine, and your lower back muscles. We're starting with our workout. However, I do want you to do two sets of a warm-up, which means body weight squats should be light, around 10 to 15 reps. The purpose is to increase blood flow and to warm up your muscles. During your warm up set, I want you to focus on preparing your muscles and joints for the upcoming working sets. I'm personally working on strength training. However, depending on your goal and program, the numbers of set can vary from five to three to even 15. And always remember, these are general guidelines. You can adjust the sets, rep, and even the weight based on your level and also goals. Always listen to your body during any workout and any warm-up. Allow your muscles to recover. The rest time can vary from 30 seconds to one and a half minutes. It really depends on your goals and also the intensity of your exercises or the workout. So now we are moving on to the working set. This is my set number one. You want to do around 12 to 15 reps. I'm really trying to focus on not caving in my knees inwards. I'm trying to keep them in line with my toes. I'm trying to keep my hips back and down as I go into a squat. And I'm also trying to engage my glutes by squeezing my inner thighs as well as my glutes. If you're a beginner, begin with body weight squats before adding any weight. And then you could gradually increase weight to challenge your muscles to grow. Remember, if you are unsure about your form or have any question regarding to your workout, please feel free to comment down below or DM me on my Instagram at MusclePie and I will for sure help you out. This is my favorite things to do for my client, progressive overload. And I'm gonna try to break it down so you could understand it. Now, if you're currently squatting a certain weight and want to increase it by 10%, you could use this formula anytime. So it's new weight equals current weight plus current weight times 0 0.10. For example, if your current squat weight is 100 pounds, the calculation should be 100 plus 100 times 0.10 equals 110 pounds. So if you want to implement a 10% increase, your new squat weight will be 110. This method ensures a gradual and manageable progression in your strength training. You could always adjust the numbers based on your current abilities and how you feel during the workout. Personally, do not do progressive overload more than twice in a week. No one should be doing more than twice a week. If you're trying to apply progressive overload to your bench press or squatting, if you are currently lifting 50 pounds, try lifting 55. So for me and my clients, I increase our overall volume by no more than 10% each week. I know that was a lot of information, but I did put it on the screen. So while I'm resting and chatting it up because you know your girl could talk, I put it here on the screen, write it down, use the formula when you go to the gym, or just have it on your phone so you could pop it up anytime you want. And of course, also have in mind that you can do the two for two rule of progressive overload, which means you can increase the weight once you can perform two additional reps beyond your rep goal for the last set for two weeks in a row. We're moving to set number three of our squat. Again, this is a working set. You do wanna do around three to eight heavy but manageable reps 
And if you are beginning, I am going to advise you to do 10 reps with a light weight just to work on your technique as well as your form. For your last working set of squats, we are going to move to deadlifts, which are compound movements. means they involve working multiple joints and muscle groups. They work not only your posterior chain, but also your quadricep, your core, and also your grip, which I love doing, by the way. See on your screen, this is my warm-up set of deadlift. You are going to do around two sets. Right after your two sets of 15 repetitions, you are going to go ahead and do your working sets. You do want to push for three sets quick i want to answer a question that i was asked last week is deadlift good for belly fat the amount of calories burned it really depends on how hard you go during your workout what is your intensity like however deadlift have a very positive impact on your muscular health so performing exercises will regularly help you lose weight and reduce belly fat. You're done with your warm-up set i want you to do your working set remember to use the formula the 10 percent overload formula if you need help with that feel free to dm me on my instagram like i mentioned before comment down below and don't forget to follow me on all my social media because you know support your girl you already know what's up if you want to pause the screen feel free to pause the screen and just review all of the benefits of deadlift i think deadlift should be on your routine at least two to three times in a week really for all my people trying to grow their glutes deadlift will really target your lower back glutes hamstring and even upper back doing this movement will help you have a strong and well-defined posterior chain right along to hip thrust you are doing sets of three and you're going to be doing 12 repetitions things to have in your mind while you're doing a hip thrust is when you lower your hips always have control ensuring that your back do not overextend always embrace your core Squeeze your glutes and press through your heels to lift your hips towards the ceiling. I always have to repeat myself and I always have to remind all of my clients, please press through your heels to lift your hip towards the ceiling. Always plan your feet firmly on the ground. Your knees should be bent over 90 degrees angles. Don't forget, don't forget, roll the barbell over your legs until it's positioned directly above your hips. As you can tell here, it's not positioned, so I definitely need to help positioning my bar to be able to continue my rep. Guys, this is your last exercise for this workout, and it's kickbacks. You are doing a working set of four, and you are doing 12 reps. The only thing that I do want to mention about kickback is to always bend your knees slightly, hinge at the hips to bring your torso parallel to the ground, always keep your upper body close to your body and your elbows bent at 90 degrees. Hold for a moment then slowly lower the weights back to the starting position. Remember, any questions you have with form, content, any information that you might want clarification, feel free to DM me or comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and I'll see you on my next video. Bye. Stop playing with a riot. How can I lose if I'm already chose? Like, if she feeling hot, then I'm gonna double chose, and I gotta be say every time that I post. Damn. The party not lit, then I'd rather not go. If she feeling hot, then I'm gonna double chose, and I gotta be say every time that I post. It's not bad, they be on my ass. I could hear you hate